Well, happy Thursday, everyone. 547 now. And for some of you, it was a bit of a stormy Wednesday evening. I showed you earlier this hour this great photo from Sherry captured in Marsing of these Mammoth clouds. Really cool cloud formations. Jared Barnes and Nampa captured a couple great photos as well last evening. Aren't they neat? They're these little pouches that kind of hang on the underside, typically of storm clouds. Here's another photo from Jared, kind of a wider view of those stormy skies. Really impressive looking cloud formations. So quick little science lesson for you if you want to know more about these mammoth clouds they do look like pouches they're on the underside of a larger parent cloud usually a cumulonimbus or a storm cloud but they can be associated with other clouds like cirrus they're formed from ice crystals that fall from the very top part of that cloud usually the anvil the very top portion of that storm cloud sink to the bottom as they sink the crystals sublimate which means they turn from ice into water vapor and then that cooler sinking air is what kind of protrudes out from the bottom of that cloud they all kind of come together and make those little pouchy looking uh, protrusions they do not produce severe weather on their own though with a night like last night, they are usually associated with some stormy weather. Will we see any more of these beautiful clouds today? I don't think that we will. Maybe in isolated areas, we could have some storm activity. We've had a couple of quick moving thunderstorms and showers popping up across the region this morning, right between Boise and Mountain Home about four o'clock this morning. There were some lightning strikes. Stanley is seeing a couple of rain showers right now. But all that activity is really pushing from south to north. What I'm watching for today is this cool front that will start inching its way across the northwest over the next several hours. The biggest concern with this front are the winds that will come out along with and then behind the front. So a red flag or fire weather warning in effect for eastern Idaho today for possible wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. And of course, very dry conditions. This is a dry, cool front. Even though it could trigger a couple of storms, again, wind is a big concern. Here's as that front comes through. We're looking at maybe 9 to 11 o'clock tonight. The wind will really start whipping. This is the Treasure Valley. Gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour, dying down overnight. And then I do think we're still in for a breezy Friday, but the good news is in the mountains especially, we have some very comfy conditions. Last weekend in Stanley, it was in the 90s. Instead, we're looking at upper 70s to right around 80 for Redfish Lake this weekend. So if you're visiting that area, it should be a little more comfortable than we were last weekend. Across the Treasure Valley for this afternoon, we'll see low to mid 90s, a much more bearable hot day compared to yesterday when we saw some triple digit readings. So we'll see 91 for CUNA today, 92 in Boise. Up in the mountains, 87 for Idaho City, 89 in Garden Valley with some windy conditions at times, and then a couple of stray storms possible, not likely, but possible today. Low 80s for McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade. Mostly sunny for Stanley and Sun Valley. I think the storm chances are greater in the West Central Mountains today. So after those showers in Stanley early this morning, I think sunshine will dominate a high of 80 there, 82 for Sun Valley. In the Magic Valley, breezy to downright windy at times today. A couple of storms possible there as well with low 90s for Twin Falls. Tomorrow, courtesy of the cool front, a beautiful Friday. Yes, breezy, but look at that high temperature, 85 degrees. That is comfortable for early August. We don't stay there long, though. Those highs get right back up around 90 heading into the weekend.